Mi 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 How does the song go again? <laughs> I'll work on it. Three, two, one. Hey, it's Kay. Hope you guys are doing well wherever you are in the world. And I've been meaning to make this video for a while now, but we're in the rainy season here in Korea. So either I'm all drenched or I'm all drenched and have a broken umbrella. So lighting has been a bit of a challenge for me, but I realized the best time to do anything, if you can, is now. So I should no longer put this video off. And um, I've been meaning to share this video since before the pandemic, which has been a while, as you can imagine, January 2020. So. Um, this is actually my trip to New Zealand, which is really special because since my family and I watched The Lord of the Rings back when I was a kid, I remember my parents saying that one day we'll go there together. And unfortunately, a lot has changed since then. And so being given the opportunity, now that I'm actually not that far away from New Zealand, I decided, hey, why not? So I decided to go on this trip to check out the Lord of the Rings and other things. So follow me to New Zealand. This is Elise. She's being derpy. We're on the subway with our stock. On the way to the airport. So we are here at the Ginhe Airport. We are waiting for our flight. Yeah, 5.30. It's next to Australia and is actually made up of two islands known as North Island and South Island. We started our journey on North Island in Auckland, the largest city in New Zealand. By the way, it's also the largest city closest to the filming location of the Shire. that we should be able to spot either dolphins or whales as we cruised around the islands. Let's see if that's true. Like 
located on the northern coast of North Island, the Bay of Islands is actually a collection of over 140 subtropical islands known for their undeveloped beaches, wildlife, and Maori culture. This is the moment when I must say that this ride was actually pretty rough on my friend Elise as well as a couple of other people because they spent most of it either laying down or sitting down trying hard not to vomit. So if you ever do decide to take a speedboat cruise, I highly highly recommend taking a proper motion sickness pill perhaps an hour or so before the ride and my friend Elise will certainly second that. You'll thank me later. A lot of us were actually pretty worried that it was going to rain, but the captain reassured us and he was right. This is an iconic landmark called the Hole in the Rock, located on Percy Island. Very original, I know. And if at any point you're wondering if I'm reading from a script, you're absolutely right. I certainly am. Well, after a lot of searching, we finally found da 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 da. Peter Jackson, the producer and director of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, saw these hills, they were it. And you can see why. I mean, think rolling hills. Just imagine rolling down these hills. That's a lot of sheep! And finally... Chan Chan!
That's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed the beautiful scenery in New Zealand. Though I might be the first Hmong person to set foot in the Shire, I certainly know I'm not the last. So tune in next time when I rent a camper van. I hope you had a lovely time, but more importantly, I hope that this video inspires you to go on your own adventure. Take care until next time. Bye. Hard to put this video together. If you notice, I actually have a bit of a tan going on here, and that's because from the moment that I started filming this video to uh, today, when I finished filming the ending remarks, a lot of time has passed by. That notes the tan. I don't know how people actually put these videos together, but this is uh, hard stuff. So props to you, people. Or it could be that I'm a noob and technically this is my first video, so. Ah!